uh, uh, ये uh, सऊवाला जी की टीम चेयरमैन और बहादुर ब्रांच सी ए शशांक अग्रवाल जी और उनकी टीम की तरफ से बठिंडा ब्रांच सी ए मनीष बंसल जी चेयरमैन और उनकी उनकी टीम की तरफ से आज सभी जो सी और जो सी स्टूडेंट्स जिन्होंने आज का ये वेबिनार ज्वाइन किया उन सबका मैं बहुत बहुत स्वागत करता हूँ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेरी वेरी हैप्पी न्यू ईयर टू ऑल ऑफ यू मैं चाहता हूँ कि जो ये साल है वो सभी के लिए हेल्दी रहे और देन प्रोस्पेरस रहे क्योंकि हेल्थ इज मस्ट जान है तो जहान है ये जिंदगी की सच्चाई है तो अगर हम सब हेल्थी रहेंगे तो सब कुछ अच्छा रहेगा उसके बाद सी एज लोग हैं तो प्रोस्पेरिटी तो चाहेंगे चाहेंगे तो हम प्रोस्पेरस रहे ये भी हम भी दिल्ली ख्वाहिश है और आज के जो हमारे स्पीकर हैं कमल चावड़ा जी जो कि बहुत ही एडवेंटर पर्सन है इनके बारे में मैं हल्का सा ब्रीफिंग करूंगा कि सर ने 2008 में अपना सीए कंप्लीट किया था और दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी से बीकॉम ऑनर्स 2005 में कंप्लीट किया और सर के एक्सपर्टाइज के जो फील्ड हैं टेक्नोलॉजी ऑटोमोबाइल लाइफ साइंस और रियल स्टेट और सर की जो कमल सर की जो स्किल्स हैं वो कारपोरेट ट्रेनिंग एम एस एम एंड स्टार्टअप मेंटरिंग फंड रेजिंग एंड बिल्डिंग इन्वेस्टर रिलेशंस डिजिटल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप और सर जो है फाउंडर एंड सी ओ के सी ग्लोब एंड डायरेक्टर इंटरनेशनल रिलेशन नॉर्थ अमरीका एम एस एम ई एंड स्टार्टअप फॉर्म भारत सर ना केवल नेशनल बल्कि इंटरनेशनल रेपुटेशन है सर की बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है सर कि आपके साथ हम ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं आज नए साल में हमारा ये फर्स्ट वेबिनार है तो नए साल की शुरुआत अच्छी है तो लगता है कि आगे वाला टाइम भी बहुत अच्छा चलेगा आज का जो टॉपिक है वो है गेट वे टू ग्लोबल अपॉर्चुनिटीज फॉर सी एंड सी स्टूडेंट्स जहाँ अपॉर्चुनिटीज आती है सर वो बहुत अपॉर्चुनिटीज वर्ड जो है ना सर वो सी स्टूडेंट्स के लिए बहुत जरूरी है क्योंकि अपॉर्चुनिटीज होगी जब ही सी स्टूडेंट्स सी ज्वाइन करते हैं उनको फ्यूचर अच्छा नजर आता है और सी जो है क्योंकि आज के इस कॉम्पिटिटिव फील्ड में कॉम्पिटिटिव एज के अंदर सी को भी अपॉर्चुनिटीज बहुत चाहिए तो आपका जो ए, ग्लोबल ए, जो इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे जो आप ए, डिस्कस करने वाले हैं तो बड़ा ही इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक रहेगा सभी के लिए मैं सबसे पहले शशांक अग्रवाल जी जो बहादुर ब्रांच के चेयरमैन हैं उनको इनवाइट करूंगा कि अपने आ, सभी गेस्ट का वो वेलकम करें शशांक अग्रवाल जी बहादुर ब्रांच के चेयरमैन शशांक जी प्लीज शशांक जी शशांक जी हाँ सर थैंक यू थैंक यू राजेश सर ऑडिबल हाँ सर प्लीज आई हैव स्टार्टेड बट एक्चुअली देर इज सम टेक्निकल एरर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई थैंक यू सी ए रितुम जी चेयरमैन शिखा ब्रांस विद इस टीम टू गिव अस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू ज्वाइन सच ए वंडरफुल इवेंट बिकॉज दिस इज ए ग्लोबल अपॉर्चुनिटी जब से कोविड ने हमें ये सिखा दिया था कि हमारे को ग्लोबलाइजेशन हम हो सकते हैं और अब बाउंड्री आपकी खत्म हो चुकी है एंड इंस्टीट्यूट प्रिंसिड ए वेल इंस्टीट्यूट मतलब मेंबर्स के लिए इंस्टीट्यूट ने काफी कुछ किया है आज हम वही टॉपिक लेके आए हैं इट वुड बी ए गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर मेंबर्स एंड स्टूडेंट एज वेल टू लिसन द वेबिनार नाउ आई वेलकम ऑल मेंबर्स फ्रॉम सिरसा ब्रांच फ्रॉम भागुड़ ब्रांच एंड फ्रॉम बठिंडा ब्रांच एंड स्टूडेंट टू अटेंड द वेबिनार थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू शशांक जी अब मैं मनीष बंसल जी जो बठिंडा ब्रांच के चेयरमैन है उनको इन्वाइट करूंगा कि सभी मेंबर्स को वेलकम करें चेयरमैन बठिंडा ब्रांच मनीष बंसल जी प्लीज सर थैंक यू राजी थैंक यू राजी जी थैंक यू सीए रितुन साहुवाला जी चेयरमैन ब्रांच सीए एस अग्रवाल जी चेयरमैन बहादुरगढ़ ब्रांच कमल जी आर डे my fellow chartered accountants a very warm and uh, you have just freed from the examination so it's a great time to refresh yourself and given the condition as already rajesh ji and agarwal ji said 
कि न्यू ईयर विद न्यू अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड दैट टू इन अ पेंडेमिक व्हेन द वर्ल्ड हैज ऑलरेडी बिकम अ स्मॉलर एंड इट हैज बिकम अ वन बिगर विलेज सो हैविंग एक्सेस टू द ग्लोबल अपॉर्चुनिटीज कुड नॉट हैव बीन बेटर देन दिस एंड आई थिंक रितुन साहूवाला जी एंड सिरसा मैनेजमेंट टीम फॉर द टेकिंग दिस इनिशिएटिव एंड प्रोवाइडिंग द बहादुरगढ़ ब्रांच एंड बठिंडा ब्रांच टू बी पार्ट ऑफ दिस इवेंट थैंक यू रितुन जी एंड वी विश and we are hopeful ki by the end of this seminar we'll be more learned as far as the global opportunities are covered thank you sir and welcome you all thank you thank you thank you ministry am i sirsa branch ke chairman c ritun sir wala ji ko invite karunga sabhi members ka sabhi students ka welcome kare c ritun sir wala sirsa branch chairman thank you rajesh sir uh, to provide us a opportunity to welcome all the members and especially thanks to uh, manish sir and sasan sir and they accept our invitation on a single call that we are we will available to and our students will join this seminar and special thanks to sikha ma'am and kamal sir and i won the wonderful topic of global opportunity for the students and the members actually i just uh, remind you all that uh, ca members and indians are always on the top of the all the world and say the google and many companies but now the indian charter accountant will be on the top of all the world by the this seminar you will get a new leg in your pocket that what you can do after the charter accountancy course and thank you very much and welcome all the members and taking lot of time i welcome kamal sir to start their celebration thank you sir thank you mr sir se ek baar sirsa branch ki team ki taraf se bahadurgarh branch ki team ki taraf se aur bhinda branch ki team ki taraf se aur baki sabhi members aur student ki taraf se kamal chawla ji ka bahut bahut swagat karta hu aaj ke webinar mein sir aaj ka topic bada hi interesting hai aur main dekh raha hu ki bahut log speedly join kar rahe hain is topic ko आप समझ सकते हैं कि ये बड़ा ही क्रिटिकल टाइम चल रहा है बिजीनेस का इन स्पाइट ऑफ दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स एंड सी एज आर ज्वाइनिंग मोस्ट वेलकम प्लीज स्टार्ट सर थैंक यू वेरी मच मे बी अरीश इफ यू कैन क्विकली शेयर दैट लाइक योर डिटेल्स एंड द लिंक्स and uh, so that we can get some inputs from the people who have joined to understand like uh, the audience as Uh, in more in detail, and then we can start really quick. Sure, sir. So first of all, a very happy and pleasant morning to each one of you. It is a proud privilege to conduct a webinar in association with the uh, Bahadurgarh branch, Sirsa branch, and Batinda branch, and we extend a heartfelt gratitude to all the office bearers for. Uh, you know spending their time on and their support so we'll be rolling out the polling questions i will be putting the link right in the chat box so that it is going to be very informative for us to deliver according to your needs so i would request everyone all the students and all the members who are watching this to kindly fill in the polling questions and we are ready to go thereafter yeah this is a quick polling question like it won't take more than a minute for an individual uh, but by this polling question we get get an understanding like kind of audience and what exactly you are looking for out of this webinar so that we will articulate the things accordingly and it will be more informative and beneficial for each one of you just take out one minute from your schedule it won't take more than 1 minute Are you studying? Have we got some responses? Yes, we are getting on the responses. We've got four responses so far. Great going, guys. Let's just quickly get done with this. Uh, 
how many people think of building global career so far we received around 12 mm-hmm. and we are 45 so i guess we are going to get more so do we have like i know we have couple of practicing chartered accountant also i'm sure they might be looking for the expansion of their practice from local to global थैंक यू मनीष सर फॉर योर कॉन्फर्मेशन क्विकली जस्ट जस्ट फेयर वन मिनट यू नो इट इट विल बी रियली बेनिफिशियल टू बोथ ऑफ अस you know if we will understand your need perfectly we would be in a better position to uh, share the information maybe whoever is dan can give a thumbs up and just make it try we are trying to make it more interactive you know in last two year i'm sure you all have had gone through a lot of webinars and seminars webinars more and uh, we do not want to be one of that we want to be like make it more interactive and uh, we wants to be more engaging and we wants it to be more informative so that like next 40 to 45 minutes what we going to spend together in this webinar it should be valuable for both of us well, i got couple of thumbs up how many responses we received so far arisha we've got 25 so far okay okay do you mind sharing the result yes so i think we're going to see how you all have responded to the polling question so i've presented my screen so out of the question that we asked do you think about building global career for yourself we've got a 92.6% of you saying yes which is really great and i'm sure it's going to help us a lot and we've got 7.4% people saying no maybe uh, we hope to change that uh, you know in this one one and a half an hour that follows then we asked your question are you doing or planning to do global career practice or an international job so 73.1% of you said yes then uh, a few of you 18.5 said no which is i think not bad considering we are indians and it is totally fine if you still want to practice here but you can always stay in india and practice internationally as well and i'm sure that is what our webinar is going to be about how you can go from local to global and uh, some of you here uh, 7.1% of you have said that you're an intermediate student all right and some of you that's 3.6% of you up still planning on what to do next then we asked you a question which domain expertise you practice or you work at so we've got 31% of you practicing taxation 24.1% of you practicing auditing and then again 24.1 doing accounting and some of you are still in your article ship still in your article ship management with 3.4% in the management sector and again 3.4% in the merger and acquisition so that was great yeah. in size cool. thanks arisha i think this is helpful yeah thank you everyone uh, for sharing your polling response this is really helpful i'm sure like uh, you know people are sitting from batinda people are sitting from sirsa people are sitting from badurgar and we have couple of people who are sitting from bangalore chandigarh delhi gurgaon faridabad and if you look at like from all the angles we all are either a ca student or we are a qualified chartered accountant and we have shared what exactly we are looking for in our career you know like if you see 93% of us are looking for building our global careers right and if you see like 73% of us wants to expand our practice from local to global or wants to do the job for the international clients or for the international companies right and then if you see like we, when we narrow down like what all things exactly we are doing after becoming a ca or maybe a as a ca student what all things exactly we are doing we are majorly working in taxation more than like 32% of us are doing taxation work 
more than 24% of us are being involved in audit and administration and more than 24% of us are being involved in accounting and then we have small small chunk for merger and acquisition forensic and many more domains but if you comprise and suppress it more than 90% of us are doing taxation audit and accounting profile for the local right and then how we can move this local audit accounting taxation merger and acquisition and forensic practice from local to global that's what is being the objective of this webinar before starting i would like to uh, thanks special thanks to uh, ca rithun uh, sir uh, for providing us an opportunity for this webinar thank you very much sir and special thanks to rajesh bansal sir for coordinating and making this happen and organizing welcome, and, <laughs> and connecting with uh, all uh, members over here and uh, special thanks to shashank agrawal sir from uh, bahadurgarh branch and thank you very much to manish bansal sir uh, for the badinda branch and uh, very very thank you to each one of you who have spared your precious time for this webinar i'm sure next 40 to 45 minutes what we going to spend together it would be extremely informative for each one of you that's our endeavor and that's the objective of this webinar so without wasting much of your time i quickly uh, jump into a small presentation and walk you through the different aspect for the global opportunity for which we are here can you all see my screen yes 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 Again, a warm welcome to the webinar on gateway to global opportunity and uh, in this uh, webinar we're going to discuss more in detail about three things one is like global opportunity for ca as well as for the ca student and then for those global opportunity what all credential we need to earn to achieve those global opportunity and then what could be the quick route to become a global professional mm -hmm. so in this webinar in next 40 to 45 minutes uh, so i i wish to set up certain rules before jumping into the like, more details of the webinar maybe as of now let's uh, keep our uh, uh, self on a mute Uh, whenever you have any question or any doubt, request you to add in chat box. We have our team member Arisha and Rajat who would be summarizing all your question. And after thirty-five to forty minutes, when we are done with the slide deck, we are more than happy to take up all your question. Right? It's a humble request. As and when any questions comes into your mind, feel free to type in chat box. and for next 30 to 35 minutes allow me to speak so that uh, you know there might be certain question comes in your mind but the answer might be available in the next slide or in the next talk what we what we going to discuss in this webinar so it would be great for 30 to 35 minutes if you can patiently listen to me and uh, but at the same time as and when you have any question any doubt feel free to type in chat box because sometime it happens we have some question and doubt if we don't write somewhere uh, we forget about it right so it will be good like as and when you have any question type in the chat box and after 35 to 40 minutes once we are done with the slide deck we have comfortable time to take up all your question but for any reason if any question is unanswered will be will be giving you response of your question in writing over the email uh so that your all question would be answered properly right so that's the thumb rule so now jump into the global opportunity that's a first agenda item so how we have organized this presentation is first to understand what all global opportunities we have right then second what all international course in addition to ca what we are doing or what we have done in addition to that what all small nuts and bolts type of you can say certification we can do to achieve those or and catch those global opportunity and then third is like what is the quickest route to become a global professional so in this next 40 minutes we're going to discuss all these things three right so without wasting much of your time i'll take you to the 
global opportunity. Like we all are like either pursuing CA or we are a qualified chartered accountant, we are working in MNC or we are doing our own practice, right? Either we are doing job, we are doing internship or we might be doing practice. But at the same time, we all might be working in either in audit domain, attestation domain, finance domain, accounts domain, taxation, investment advisor, risk management, business advisory, management consultant, forensic, corporate governance, and many more, right? But you know, these all domains in which we are currently working across the globe is work in the same fashion almost. There's only 10 to 15 or 15 to 20% differences what we do in India and what other part of the world do. So that is what only the knowledge gap, which we need to bridge. That's what we do in India and how things are happening in US, Canada, Mexico, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Middle East. It's not much different. And if you see the basic fundamental of accounting or debit and credit and basic financial statement are almost same in all the part, all part of the world. And we all know like now NDS has been emerge, which is very much in line with the IFRS. So we know how things are moving globally. And we as an Indian are almost at par with any other nation in the world. So what we need to do is to just need to understand what are the differences between what we are doing in India and what is happening in other part of India. If we bridge those knowledge gap, then it would be very easy for us to adjust according to the global requirement or to encash those global opportunity. How many of you agree to it? Give me a thumbs up or raise your hand, right? So if you see the fundamental of accounting, whether in your graduation, in your CA or any other qual uh, qualification you have done, fundamental of accounting is same. Whether you are doing in India, whether you are doing in the US, you are doing in Europe, you are doing in Australia or New Zealand. There's only small, small differences. If let's say, if I compare about India and US, you know, most of the US work comes to India as an outsourcing work. Almost you can say, if I say about the big four companies or maybe the big consulting firm in US, they offshore 20 to 25% of their work in India, right? So what is the difference between Indian gap and US gap? That is the only thing we need to bridge the knowledge gap. And then we are comparable as well as competent to encash those opportunities. That is something we need to work upon. It's very 10 to 15% small gap. It's not much gap because our CA education is so robust and so thorough. It will give you in deep understanding which no other course in the world provide, right? But at the same time, you know, wherever you go in the world, I'm sure you might be working for, some of you might be working for international client. Some of you might be visited in different part of the world. You know, the general perception for Indian across the world is that we people are really a very hardworking people and different part of the world people would love to work with us. If I give my example, I have started my career with PwC in Gurgaon and then I moved to EY Mumbai. I worked almost 14 states in India. Then I moved out of India as in like, I worked in Dubai, I worked in Nigeria, I worked in Senegal. And last two and a half year, I was in EY US as an experienced senior manager. Wherever we went, wherever I went or wherever you as an Indian go, you have been considered as really a hardworking people and people would love to work with you because the quality you deliver no one on the earth deliver the same quality. Why you, you guys are in a position to deliver that quality because of this thorough curriculum of chartered content, which we all are studied or we are studying as well. It gives you a great foundation and great brace so that you can move from any part of the world, but your basics would be so strong and so fixed can be adjust and accommodate in any part of the world. So here, what all things you need to brush up or what all things you need to just add on is small, small, uh, you can say knowledge gap, which we have between India and the different part of the world. We just need to bridge those knowledge gap, then we can flourish like anything in the earth, right?
So now I'll take you to those knowledge gap, which can be easily filled, right? So first thing, if you see like across the globe, across the globe, Indian Chartered Accountant is being considered as a thorough in accounting, taxation, auditing, merger and acquisition forensic, right? But on top of it, if you add flavor of any of these professional courses or certification, it will give you across the globe credential and recognition more than and more acceptability in the different part of the world. If I say one by one, let's say US CPA. Most of the chartered accountant nowadays do US CPA and most of the student who are doing CA across with the, along with the CA, they also studied US CPA. Why they study US CPA? US CPA has memorandum of recognition with the eight countries. They have memorandum of recognition in US, Canada, Mexico, Australia, New Zealand, Scotland, Ireland, South Africa, and Hong Kong. That means in any of these countries, wherever you go, if you are a US CPA, you just need to submit your document and within 24 hours, you will get their respective country CPA license. You do not need to do any additional qualification. You do not need to do, give any additional exit. And if I give you the math behind, you know, how many of you use, uh, uh, you can say Google in a day? I use like more than 30, 40, or sometimes 50 times in a day, right? I'm sure you also might be using like more than 30, 40 times in a day, you Google, right? How many of you use YouTube in a day or maybe like Netflix in a day or maybe Amazon Prime in a day, right? Are you guys using it? Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, you guys are using it? Give me a thumbs up, yes or no, right? And which mobile you use? Either you might be using Android or maybe iOS based right? Which laptop you are currently using, whether it may be like Lenovo, Dell, HP, or Apple, right? Why I'm saying so about this company? If you see how much our day, our life is being impacted by this US-based company, you know, whether it's YouTube, whether it's Google, whether it's Android, whether it's iOS, whether it's Apple, whether it's Lenovo, whether it's Dell, whether it's HP, Throughout the day, we are being so much occupied and engaged by all these companies who are US-based MNCs, right? If you see in India, more than 75% MNCs are US-based MNCs. And across the globe, if you see the number, more than 34% MNCs across the globe are US-based MNCs. And if you look at Fortune 500 company, more than 55% percent of the fortune 500 company are us based company and they require a lot of us cpas every year right that make this course more acceptable across the globe and if you are a chartered accountant and cpa as well you can you can you can you can flourish like anything i'm telling you i did my ca back in 2008 and when i traveled in the different part of the world and recognized how much important is US CPA? Then in 2020, I did my US CPA after 12 years of my qualification. And it genuinely helped me in taking up my career to the next level, right? And this has only four exams, which you can then easily in six to 12 months. Second course, which is a smaller one, right? Is the US CMA. This course is again, like we discussed, is being very much acceptable across the globe. If you see across the globe, they have like how we have Institute of Chartered Accountant of India, body in India. They have similar body in 10 countries and have more than 150,000 members across the globe. And this has only two exams, which can be passed in six to nine months very easily. Especially student like you or members like you can easily pass this exam in four to five months. I'm telling you, this is like six to nine months is for like normal graduate people, but you, you're pursuing chartered accountant course or you had done the CA kind of course for you, it would be a quick job, right? And now like some of you, like I have, I have seen like more than 30, 
two percent of you are doing practice in taxation, right? What taxation actually you are practice? You are practicing Indian taxation, right? If you look at third point here, is the U.S. Enroll Agent course. It takes only three to four months and has only one exam to pass, and it will give you expertise of U.S. taxation. At the same time, it will give you recognition with the IRS. IRS is Internal Revenue Services of the USA. That means when you are sitting at your home in India, you can file the return of US citizens. And how much you are charging for Indian income tax return and how much you can multiply it when, when you are charging for the income tax return of the US citizen. You can imagine the growth. You know, like some of us are really a good profession, might be charging a reasonable amount, but to be very honest, not that much, which any individual in US can give you for your income tax return filing, for his income, his or her income tax return filing, right? If you get a couple of corporate client for which you are just filing income tax return in US, that means your total practice, what you are doing as of now, and couple of US, uh, you can say, companies for which you are filing income tax return, the value would be more than that I can give you in writing. So this course will take like three to four months at the max, but is a normal for normal graduate people, it may take six months at the max, but for people like you who have studied so hard as a CA, for you it would be a three to four month job to crack this enroll agent exam and be a US taxation expert and you can expand your practice from local to global. Right. Next is if some of you are in internal audit, then you should opt for USCIA. Right. It will give you opportunity across the globe. It will give you opportunity because CIA is being more recognized across the globe as an internal auditor professional. If you see the leaders who are head of internal audit in many big, big company, you can go ahead and do your own research. What I'm saying Maybe you can correlate with your experience. Maybe you can correlate with your friends, family member who are actually doing it. Or maybe you can, co you can go back and do the research, what we are discussing now, and do your independent research. I can bet you, you will definitely find what we are saying is making total sense. If you see the head of internal audit or head of risk advisory, head of risk management of any big organization, they might be having a qualification of a CIA in addition to, maybe if you are looking in context of India, in addition to CA, they might be doing CIA or if they are from the different part of the world, they must be having a CIA qualification, right? If you, are, if you want to expand to reach to the head of the department level for any global MNCs, then I think three to six month investment, just one exam. It would be so easy cakewalk for you guys to complete CIA and get a global credential. Next is CISA, right? How in India we have DISA, which is like provided by Institute of Chartered Accountant. Most of us have already done that. And I'm sure some of you are planning to do that also. If you have interest in doing IT audit, or if you have interest in doing bank audit, insurance audit, CAG audit, and so on and so forth. It's being mandatory requirement. And those requirements say whether you are DISA or CISA in India, but out of India, they all require CISA, right? If you want to expand your IT audit practice out of India, then CISA is something you must do. And it's being mandatory requirement to get the big audit done, being a CISA. Whether you are doing financial statement audit, then also they are requiring you to have a qualification of CISA, right? And in just three to six months, it won't take like how CA, CS, ICW kind of program, which take like three to four years or three to five years sometime, right? In just three to six months, you need to get one certification and you'll be globally recognized, right? Same as like we also have, if you're planning to go and settle in European nation, then UK ACC is also good for like graduate and chart account. And there are a couple of exemption also, you need to sit for only four to five exam, right? That also you can obtain. And then if you're planning to expand your horizon in investment banking, wealth management, mutual funds, 
right? Then you can look for an option to do the CFA. That's again a big route. Undoubtedly, it's in itself uh, take longer time. But if you are if you want to expand your horizon and if you want to be a global leader in the investment banking, banking domain, insurance domain, or maybe in a mutual fund, wealth management, asset management domain, then CFA is also a good option. And then shorter course, if you are planning to go in a risk management profile or forensic profile, then FRM, financial risk management, it has only two exams and it can be done in six to nine months, right? And then we also have diploma in IFRS, which our institute also provide IFRS diploma and UK ACC also provide IFRS diploma, right? This can be done in like three to six months very easily. Just like maybe I think 80 hour of classroom study, which the institute also provide and ACC also provide. And they have like, uh, like uh, books for the IFRS diploma and it's just one exam. It won't take much time, but it will give expand your knowledge base in accounting domain. And this will be helpful for the people who wants to expand their knowledge base or their practice in accounting domain from local accounting to international accounting because 90% of the world follow IFRS these days. Only the US follow US GAAP. But at the same time, US also accept IFRS financial statement. They have not mandatorily said only the US GAAP need to be filed. Right, IFRS financial statement is also acceptable. You just need to take the specific approval for it. Right, and the next is data analytics. We all know data is gold mine in future. If being CA, CS, ICWA, DSA, CSA, or CPA, ACCA, whatsoever the profession you are into, but you must have to have understanding of data analytics. If you do not have understanding of data analytics, then in long run. It won't, it, it would be very difficult for you to grow. First, you need to understand like how the data actually work and how those data is being converted into information. And that, then how those information would be articulate for the management decision making. So it also have like, it can be easily done in three to six months from any, any you can say university, maybe like Indian university, international university, or maybe some global certification bodies, you can go ahead and do the data analytics course. So these all are like couple of international courses or the courses which is being very well recognized internationally can help you in building your career from local to global, whether you want to do the job or you want to do, you want to expand your practice, right? So I'll go back to all those domains. And then you can correlate all those domains to these courses and see in which domain you want to expand or you want to grow either in job or in your own practice. You can do your own practice in accounting domain, finance domain, audit domain, taxation domain, right? And like advisory domain, investment banker domain, any domain, right? And at the same time, you can also do the job in these domains. But what you need to do to move from local to global, just to add this small, small credential. And it will flourish your career like anything, right? Any doubt or any question you guys have, I'll take a pause, feel free to type in chat box. Okay. So now, if you see why I put this slide over here, so that what we have discussed so far, you can correlate with your experiences, with your friends, family member who might be working in this company, or you can do your own independent research. If you want to settle in India in itself, these all are company who hire child accountant as well as they prefer the child accountant who would be having any of these additional qualifications. They give you the preference. Undoubtedly, if you see the company like top 10 consulting from public accounting firm, whether it's Deloitte, EY, PwC, KPMG, Grand Thornton, BDO, Mazar, RSM, right? They all have offshore centers in India. And in which they are doing their offshore practice is much bigger than their Indian practice <coughs> in terms of value, right? 
and they hire like a lot of US CPA, they hired a lot of enroll agent, they hired a lot of CMA, they hired the data analytics expert, they hired a FRM expert, they also take additional uh, you can say credit for the IFRS diploma, CIA, CISA, or ACCA kind of qualification in addition to the CA if you are planning to do the job. And if you are in practice, then you just need to give a thought when these companies can have their offshore practice bigger than Indian practice, why not be? That is a question we all need to ask ourselves if you are doing practice, if this such company can do such a big practice in which they are earning more than their Indian practice, why not be? And what we need to do, we just need to add all this small credential to get there. If you want to expand our practice from local to global, because if you are like, if I go to any company, I say I am a chartered accountant. Then they consider that these are the credentials we have. We have expertise of Indian accounting center, Indian auditing center, Indian taxation, all the costing, finance management, and all those things which we have studied robustly, right? Same way if you want to go to the international client, then if you say I'm an Indian chartered accountant, and at the same time also a US CPA, or at the same time also like US enroll agent, or at the same time I'm also a UK ACCA or FRM, they will definitely give more credit to the people who have their country qualification or their recognized qualification, right? So this will add a great value and it won't take much time like we discussed earlier. And if you want, like the, the students who are, uh, who are studying CA, and at the same time, you can look for all these qualifications parallelly, because what curriculum you are studying in CA is not much different than the curriculum in all these program, right? 80 to 85% is exactly same what you are learning. Only 10 to 15% is the knowledge gap which you need to fill. If I say you are doing CA, that means what all accounting standard you are learning, what all auditing standard you are learning is 80 to 85% same in the US gap, same in the IFRS. Only 10 to 15% is difference between Indian auditing standard, international auditing standard, or US gap. It will not take much difference. Only 15 to 20% additional study you need to do alongside with your CA, and you can pass both the exam comfortably, and you'll be more globally recognized. And then if you want to do the job, you can do the job in Bank of America, American Express, MetLife, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, Barclays, and many more. If you are, want to, are interested in financial services, if you are interested in commercial, then you have like Amazon, Apple, Caterpillar, S&P, Capgemini, Coca-Cola, Facebook, Intel, Amazon, Walmart, right? Google, JLL, there are so many companies. And these are all our company now provide like work from home facility also. Whether you are sitting in Sirsa, you are sitting in Batinda, you are sitting in Bahadurga, it does not make at any difference nowadays. Because like in the inception of this webinar, we discuss geography is now a history. There is no more geographical barrier, barrier wherever you are sitting. Wherever you are sitting, if you have right qualification and right expertise, you can sit at your home and do the job anywhere in the world, right? So reason of putting this slide is so that what we have discussed so far, you can correlate all this theory with your experience, with your, exp your own experience, your friend, family member, or you can do your own independent research, right? Now, moving on to the next agenda item. So far, what we have discussed is first and second agenda item, global opportunities for CA and CA students. What are international courses available to fill those knowledge gap? Now, we can have like series of webinar in which we can discuss more nuts and bolts about each of these curriculums. But now in this next 30 minutes, we're gonna discuss more about the quick road to become a global profession. That is a US CPA program, right? Like we discussed, in India, more than 75% MNCs are US-based MNCs. Across the globe, more than 34% MNCs are US-based MNCs. And more than 55% of Fortune 500 companies are US-based MNCs. They make this course more globally acceptable. 
and help you building your international career whether you want to work in mnc or you want to do your own practice this course is in the highest demand and has very high growth potential and now all those exams are happening right here in india you do not need to go to us you do not need to go anywhere in different part of the world to sit for the exam and it has only four exam which can be easily passed in 6 to 12 month and like i said they have memorandum of recognition with australia mexico new zealand canada uh, scotland ireland hong kong and south africa so in any of these country you go you just need to present your document within 24 hours you will get their country respective license of ucp that means you can do practice in any of these country and you can do your own international practice while sitting in india there is no residential requirement right any question or doubt you have feel free to type in chat box these all are the examination center next next 15 20 minutes will be spending more on understanding nuts and bolts about the us cpa right so that what is the course curriculum what is the exam pattern what is like overall fees and structure so on and so forth next 15 20 minute and then we'll be more than happy to take up all your question what you are writing in chat box and even after that you have any question right so these are all are the eight examination center in india for the us cpa nearest to you in gurgaon but if you are living in ahmedabad kolkata hyderabad mumbai bangalore chennai and trivandrum if you are looking at, uh, living in different part of india so these all are the examination center an exam happen all 365 days in a year it's not like how for the ca curriculum we have exam in may and november or maybe how for mba program we have june and december no it happen all 365 days in a year you can sit for any exam in any sequence in any day you like it in any of these examination center or in any of the shift you know you can sit in the morning 9 am you can sit at 12 in the afternoon you can sit at 3 pm right so so much flexibility for the exam they give right and now if you see like why anyone on the earth will do any course at the end the objective is earning right this slide is especially for the students or the newly qualified chartered accountant uh, who are just a fresher you know who wants to build their career and who wants to do the job right if you are planning to go and get settled in us the starting package for the cpa is in a range of $55000 to $70000 that means in the range of 42 lakh rupees to 55 lakh rupees if you are planning to go and get settled in canada so the fresher starting package is 60000 canadian dollar to 75000 canadian dollar and if you are planning to settle in europe or middle east australia or new zealand the starting package of us cpa is 50000 us dollar to 70000 us dollar and in india also the fresher get a salary in a range of 7 to 10 lakh and if you have experience then definitely it will be a add on to the fresher package for sure right if you have like 5 year experience you can easily hit in a range of 90000 dollar to 100000 dollar if you have more than 8 year experience you can easily hit 1 lakh 20000 dollar to 1 lakh 50000 dollar and if you have more than 20 year experience you can easily hit in a range of 200000 dollar right that's a big amount and uh, now so far we discuss about like global opportunities what all course and curriculum we can do to bridge those knowledge gap now we have started deep into the us cpa program now in next couple of slide we'll be understanding what is us cpa like who is the governing body what all expertise you will be getting what all domains you will be working right and then in the next slide we'll be discussing what is the process of becoming a us cpa so like how in india we have institute of chartered accountant who is the governing body for all the chartered accountant curriculum same way in us we have american institute of certified public accountant that is called aicpa that's the main governing body and the administrative body is us state board of accountancy so in us we have 55 state and every state has their state board of accountancy and they all are for the administrative purpose in which you take the admission and for which you take the license 
but examinations are conducted centrally by the NASP. That's an examination body of AICPA, right? And after doing the USCPA, you will get an expertise in US GAAP and IFRS both. And you will get, uh, which we all know, like IFRS across the globe is being valid. And for the US, you'll be getting a deep understanding of US GAAP. That means by doing this course, you'll get an expertise in accounting matter across the globe, right? Second is PCOB and AICPA auditing standard. How in India, we have ICI who issue auditing standard to audit the private company and CB who issue the auditing standard to audit the public company. Same way in US, we have AICPA who issue the auditing standard to audit the private company and PCAOB, which is Public Company Accounting Oversight Board. Similar to how we have SEBI, who issue the auditing standard to audit the listed company in USA. And believe me, their auditing standard is considered as a benchmark by across the globe when they are developing their own auditing standard. So that means if you are doing a USCPA, you will be learning the top-notch auditing standard as well as accounting standard, right? Third is SEC rules and regulation. How in India we have SEBI who issue the rules and regulation for the companies who are listed, how they need to govern their operation. Same way in US, we have Security Exchange Commission, SEC, who issue the rules and regulation for the listed company in USA, right? That means they should have a corporate governance committee, they should have audit committee, they should have whistleblower policy, they should have internal control, they should have internal audit, right? All those things, parameters are being issued by the SEC. And it comes under the rules of SEC regulations, right? So you are, you'll be getting a deep understanding of the SEC rules and regulation, which is again a top-notch rules and regulation, which any other body similar to SEC adopt or consider as a benchmark when they develop their own rules and regulation. And that on the top of it, you'll get US taxation expertise. You know, uh, in India, in India, we are like more than 140 crore. Right. And can you just give a guess how many US taxation experts we have in India? Any rough guess? Maybe just type in chat box or if you want to throw any number. You know, we are 1,40,000, 140 crore plus population, and we have less than 9,000 US taxation experts in all over India. Can you imagine how tiny this number is? And you know, like the US population is again, like 350 million. And in US itself, they have only 57,000 US taxation expert. It's so much shortage of US taxation expert in India as well as in US. And you know, you can do just a small course like a CPA or maybe an enroll agent if you just want to do US taxation work. And in just six months, you can get gain the deep expertise of US taxation. And believe me, you'll be earning in millions. You'll be earning in millions. And especially all those companies which I shared in the earlier slide, like Deloitte, EY, PwC, KPMG, Grand Thornton, BDO, Bazaar, RSM, they are finding, they are feeling it's so hard to find the people who have US taxation expertise. You'll get easily a great job if you want to build your career in US taxation. And you can earn a million of dollars if you want to build your career in US taxation by doing a US CPA or enroll agent course, whatever you like it, right? So these all expertise you'll be getting by doing a US CPA. And then you can do practice or do job in the domain of accounting, finance, audit, international taxation, business advisory, and many more. And at the same time, if you take the license, similar to COP, you can take the license of US CPA also, right? And then you'll get an authority to attest and review US GAAP and IFRS financial statement under the guidance of AICPA and PCOP, right? This is all like curriculum, governing body, any doubt or question you have, feel free to type in chat box. Now, 
what is the exam pattern of us cpa you know in this webinar we'll be discussing more in detail about cpa but i'll be more than happy to come again to discuss about other curriculum which we have uh, which we have discussed in the beginning because we in the limitation of time we can do one thing perfectly but slowly and gradually we can come again and do the different webinars on different subject but in this section we'll be discussing more about us cpa right so from the long time we are saying it has only four exams so these are the four exams financial accounting and reporting audit and administration business environment and concept and regulation 50% would be multiple choice question and 50% would be simulation multiple choice question we all know there would be one question and four answer to it you need to select the best answer simulation if i say in terms of accounting they will give you a trial balance then they may ask you to prepare a balance sheet or maybe a profit and loss account or a cash flow statement those kind of question is called simulation right and the exam would be four hour exam but within that 15 minute is allowed break so we all know four hour at a stretch is very hard to sit for the exam so they give you 15 minute break also in the exam right so this is the exam pattern any doubt or any question yeah feel free to type in chat box okay so moving on to the next one how i can become a us cpa most of the candidates have this question they understand yes us cpa is something i should do to enhance my practice from local to global or do the international jobs or move to the different part of the world but the, where they struck is how i can become a us cpa right so becoming a us cpa you require at least 120 credit for that you should be a commerce graduate right so each year of commerce graduation will give you 30 credit that means three year of commerce graduation will give you 90 credit and if you have done like ca cs icw mba mcom any kind of program they all would be considered as a post graduation program and they give you 60 credit for each if you are a ca you will get 60 credit for ca if you are a cs again you get 60 credit if you are icw mba you get 60 credit that means if you are bcom and ca you have 150 credit and you are eligible to sit for the cpa exam if you guys are student also there are some student also if you are a semi qualified you have done intermediate level of ca then also you will get additional 30 credit and you can sit for the exam and if you are just a commerce graduate and you have not done anything yet any professional qualification you are also eligible but for that parallelly you need to adopt for mcom or mba program you need to take admission either in mcom program or mba program then guam state board will give you advance credit based on the curriculum in which you have taken admission for more detail feel free to reach out to me or like arisha our team member if you have any doubt whether i am eligible or not feel free to type in chat box your question will be more than happy to take up answer and then after you can take my number or arisha's number uh, feel free to reach out to us so all of you are being eligible to sit for the usc exam right and then first thing to go about it is to apply for the transcript take the transcript from your bachelor degree from your professional courses whether it's ca cs icw mcom mba program whatever you have done right then those transcript you need to send it to nasba for the evaluation nasba is an examination body of aicp right after getting the evaluation you need to take the enrollment to the respective state board in us like we discussed there are 55 state board so any of the state board you can take the admission it hardly matter that these all are state board are for administrative purpose only right and then you need to start study you need to take live classes you need to take learning management software you and you need to start study parallelly and then once you are ready for the respective exam you need to book your exam now exams happen in india for all 365 days and the passing score is 75 in one exam for us as an indian uh, student it may looks big 75 but believe me it's not big if you see the national average pass rate is 50 to 55% that means if 100 students sit for the cp exam 50 to 55 pass in one go that's a national average 
and uh, most of the time like student come to us and they say how difficult it is right <laughs> believe me it's not very difficult uh, and i have not seen any exam difficult than child accountant <laughs> when i did my back in 2008 so ca is being one of the toughest exam on the earth especially in this domain for accounting finance and audit domain or taxation domain believe me it's eight to nine time easier than ca if you see like for the ca results we have 5 to 10% result and here you can see like 50 to 55% is the result right it can clearly says but yeah it would be difficult than your bcom it would be difficult than your mcom or mba program but not as difficult as we are doing all these professional courses right and then this 18 month passing window which you need to keep in mind what is this 18 month passing window that means the day you pass your first exam you need to pass rest of the three exam in next 18 month from the day you pass your first exam but it's a rolling window that means i'll explain through an example let's say in january 22 a student has passed first exam for cpa and then second exam student has said in june 22 and yes he, he or she has passed the second exam in june 22 and third exam student has said in december 22 and student has pass the third exam in december 22 likewise student plan to sit for the fourth exam in june 23 but unfortunately in june 23 student has not passed the fourth exam that means the day student passed the first exam that is january 22 from that date to 18 month which is june 23 the student need to pass rest of the three exam but unfortunately student has not passed the fourth exam then what will happen the first exam which student has cleared in january 22 will get lapsed and then the rolling window will start from june 22 when the student has passed the second exam from june 22 to next 18 month this is december 23 the student needs to pass the rest of the two exam that means fourth exam which student has not cleared and the first exam which student has lapsed so in june to december 23 student need to pass two exam to clear the us right and then some of you are already a practicing chartered accountant and if you want to take the license and do the practice for the, as a us cpa for that you would be requiring 150 score being a bcom and ca you already have 150 score you need to pass all the four exam of cpa and then some state required ethic exam some state required 12 month experience uh, uh in the in the accounting domain audit domain taxation domain finance domain which you are already have experience then you can take easily the license of us cpa and you can do your own practice as a us cpa also right any doubt how i can become a us cpa and how i can take the license of us cpa and do the practice feel free to type in chat box सर आपने जैसा एक्सप्लेन किया सर मेरे को लगता है स्टूडेंट अब जो है ना यूएस को ध्यान में रखकर स्टडी करना शुरू कर देंगे सर यस सो नाउ बीइंग अ ह्यूमन टेंडेंसी वी ऑल वांट्स टू नो हाउ मच इज द कॉस्ट इन्वॉल्व इन इट राइट सो हियर इज द कॉस्ट फॉर द यूएस सीपीए यू नो देयर आर सो मेनी सर्विस प्रोवाइडर we also provide like us cpa classes and there are so many you can go anywhere you like it if you want to do us cpa on an average the learning management software in which you will receive us professor pre recorded video electronic book multiple choice question simulation and question bank everything on an average it costs in a range of 70000 to 90000 there are so many uh, you can say uh, people who provide uh, there are so many academies who provide us cpa uh, learning management software including one of us as well and then classes also the live classes the people charge in a range of 30000 to 50000 for all four subject right so you can take anywhere you like it and then the which fees goes to us ai cpa nasba or state board one is your evaluation evaluation fees is 229 dollar which go to nasba which you directly need to pay to nasba how you pay your fees to icci similar to that then your enrollment fees will go to the state board which is in a range of 100 to 150 dollar and then last is examination fees if you want to sit for the exam in india 
So for one exam, the fees is $565. And if you want to sit for the exam in US, it is $211. So additional charge is for international examination center, right? So if on an average, it costs you in a range of 2,60,000 rupees to 3,20,000, depending on from where you are taking learning management software and classes, because the rest of the fees are directly going to the respective institute, AICPA. Right. So this is the overall cost. Any doubt or anything you need more clarification on cost, feel free to type in chat box. And uh, we have like our office in Delhi. We have branch in Bangalore, Mumbai and Chandigarh. And uh, Sandosh is also here. Arisha is here. Mohit is also here. Shailaja is for some reason is not here. But you can take out, uh, note down their number. For anything you want to know more about US CPA, CMA, enroll agent, CIA, CISA, IFRS, any of this course, feel free to connect with any of us. So this is all about uh, the today's webinar. Uh, more than happy to take up the questions now. Okay, we've got uh, quite enthusiastic audience. I must say we've got so many questions over the chat box and I tried to resolve some, some also in between. But here we have the main ones. I'll start with uh, CA Abhishek Garg. He has a question that he would like to know the best financial modeling and valuation courses globally. Yeah, so financial modeling uh, is uh, again, like uh, I think actuarial would be the best one. Uh, to the best of my understanding, but yes, I can do further more research and get back to you. But uh, maybe like uh, Rajesh sir, Ritun sir, if you have some idea to answer this question, uh, I'll be more than happy. But to the best of my understanding is actuarial one. And to add to his question, he has that uh, most biggest investment banks are hiring CA plus MBA. That is maybe an IIM plus an ABC combination for top-notch profiles. So is there any valuation course considered equivalent to that combination along with CA? Yeah, FRM, financial risk management. They have a lot of FRM also. In CA plus FRM is really a good combination. So hope that answers your question, uh, Abhishek. And moving ahead, uh, there is somebody with the name A. So uh, he says, what is the main role of a US CPA? Uh, like main role of US CPA in job or in practice. Let's go one by one. If you are doing practice, you get an authority to attest US GAAP financial statement as well as IFRS financial statement of all the companies in US, whether it's S Corp, C Corp, uh, LLP, LLC, or maybe a listed company, right? And then uh, you will gain an expertise of US taxation. You can file their income tax return, CPA and enroll agent. Both are authorized to file income tax return in the US in the IRS. And you know, like one quick benefit I, I would like to add here, in India, we need to take the fees from the client. But in US, if you are registered with the IRS as a tax preparer, then you, you just need to add how much is your fees when IRS is releasing the refund, it will one part of the your fees will go to your account and the balance part go to the client account. In 99% of the cases, there are excess tax deduction in the US citizen and they always have refund status. So you don't need to worry about your fees. It will directly come from IRS to your account, right? Now coming to the job side. Job side, you can, you can work in MNCs, in India, like we discussed about EY, PwC, KPMG, Deloitte, PDO, Mazar, Facebook, Intel, HP, Amazon, so on and so forth. And if you have any plan to go outside India, then also we, we also provide like placement support in US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. So if you're planning to go outside India or any of these eight country in which they have MRA, then within 24 hours, you will get the respective country CPA credential and you can work as a CP of that country in the respective location. Hope this answers your question. Okay, moving ahead, Nandini has a question uh, that so please explain about CFA in detail or is there need to do MBA with that to be an investment banker? Uh, no, MBA has always been additional credential. It's not very much mandatory. 
for CFA, maybe like I can discuss with Ritun sir and Rajesh sir and uh, Bansal sir, we can we can set up another webinar to to have, give more deep dive of the CFA. But at very high level, it has like three level of exam and around like it may takes like 24 to 36 months to complete all the level of CFA exam. And then it's one of the, you can say, finest course, which is being very well recognized across the globe. Uh, then moving ahead, uh, sir, ha with the name Redmi 10 Prime, that should I start USCP right after my CA inter and do articleship? Uh, yeah, or oh, does articleship need to be carried side by side? Sorry, say that again. Like uh, you are doing CA or you have done CA? Uh, I think he's doing his articleship. He's a CA inter. So can mm -hmm. he start a CPA right after CA inter? Yes. And then yes. articleship should be done. Yes, yes. Parallelly, parallelly, you can do your article ship as well as you can do your CPA. So that, that you can absolutely do together and it will add value to your internship as well. If you are doing internship in like, uh, you can say big MNCs, I'm sure if you, you might be facing or uh, indulge uh, with, with an interaction with the international client, it will definitely add a lot of good credentials. Hope that answers your question. Uh, moving ahead, Gunjan has a question. Are work from home opportunities available or not? Yes, yes. Nowadays across the globe, like people are more than 80% people are working from home. And, uh, you know, like this pandemic situation has break, broken up all the bones. Now, like MNCs are, uh, you can say, uh, taking care uh, or you can say evaluating how they can save their operational costs. Because like work is going on from last two years. If you see... Like I was in the leadership of one of the big four consulting firm in India. So we have saved more than, you can say 85% of our operational cost by this pandemic. And then that has enhanced around 18% of the profitability. Can you imagine? So same way all these big companies considering this work from home situation, everyone is doing their job and they have respective, uh, you can say tools in place to make sure like you are doing your work or team members are doing their work. Now we all are used to it. Why do invest so much operational cost in cyber city? You know, like how much one lakh for square feet? How much rent they are paying for it? Can you imagine? It saved a lot of huge cost for all these MNCs, especially like now Google, Amazon, HP, Caterpillar, they have like almost uh, gone down their operational cost because of this pandemic situation. So it would be like the future is going in a gig economy in which like work from home is a normal. Thank you for the insight, sir. Uh, moving ahead, Aman has a question. The packages you just shared for US CPA, like a person who has a degree of US CPA only, can you please give some examples of packages if a person is an Indian CA and US CPA both? Yeah, definitely. If you're Indian CA and US CPA, that means you already have three years of experience in internship, right? <laughs> so you'll definitely get much higher package. On an average, like if you are just a CA and you have done CPA, for a fresher package, it would be in a $60,000 to $70,000. $75,000. Moving ahead, Sumit Mittal has a question. Correspondence or regular, where were both at par degrees, the, the one where you spoke about MCOM. Yes, yes, absolutely true. But it should be from ANEC University. And he has another question. How long does it take for the evaluation process? Uh, it takes six to eight weeks. Then there's the next question. What's the main difference between US CPA and ACCA? Uh, they, they both are like, we are not here to compare any professional. All professional are very respectable and equally good. ACCA is being more prevalent in European nation, Europe and UK. And USCPA is more prevalent in US, Canada, Mexico, Ireland, Scotland, Australia, New Zealand, and in India, Hong Kong, and South Africa. Then Prab has a question. Can we get CPA in Canada through MRA? that both India and Canada has, like without any additional exam or anything? No, for Indian Chartered Accountant, if you want to do Canadian CPU, you need to sit for the additional exams. And last question is by Chetan, that which state board to choose? 
Uh, it, it hardly matter unless you want to do the practice. You know, state board are only for administrative purpose. Exams are uniform CP exams. So it's similar how we have C exam, which is valid across India. Same way, like US CP exam is valid across America. Uh, with that, we come to the end of the questions. If there are any more questions, uh, I'm sure you all can unmute and ask us and we're right on time. So we're happy to take up additional questions. I am saying that you have told us so big packages and now we feel that we will have to do more than two or three webinars with you. Absolutely sir, I am more than happy to do that. It's the beginning of the year you said. Of course, of course. Because at least 35 people are we are joining your webinar here at Sirsa branch. Yes, sir. I am also like Director of International Relations North America in MSME and Startup Forum, where I do like webinar for the startups as well. So if any of you wants to do the business other than CA practice, I can help you in doing like those entrepreneurship program. And I'm also developing uh, with a couple of uh, big entrepreneur and entrepreneurship program, which would be like we are collaborating with many universities uh, for those program, as well as a couple of association, like we, we can also collaborate with the CA association also body in which we can run those entrepreneurship program. And also like uh, I help uh, Indian companies to grow their business in US, Canada and Mexico. That's my main portfolio and uh, invite US, Canada and Mexico company in India and facilitate them uh, in expansion of their business in India. And also like I have uh, investment network firm in which we have like 150 plus angel investor through which we provide investment support to the Indian startups and MSN. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we can, we can uh, touch base on many grounds. It's not only all these professional courses, but different dynamics also. Uh, we can surely uh, do the webinars or seminars whenever we need. बहुत अच्छा लगा सर बहुत ही इंटरेस्टिंग आपका आज बेवना लंच इवन सीए स्टूडेंट्स क्योंकि एक्चुअली क्या ग्लोबल अपॉर्चुनिटीज सभी को अच्छी लगती है और आपने जो साथ में जो पैकेजेस डिस्कस किए वो भी इंटरेस्टिंग थे तो मैं सर हम एक दो बेवना और उनके साथ जाएंगे तो उनकी परमिशन से एक दो मैं जितनी तारीफ करूं उतना ही कम है आपने सबको इन्वॉल्व रखा किसी को सुस्त नहीं होने दिया थैंक यू वेबना रहा आशा करो ये इनको फिफ्टी कोर्स ज्वाइन करना आशा करती है ये कोर्स 